donating my kidney to my boyfriend. Seven months after the surgery, he confessed to cheating. To this day, even after everything he put me through, the heartache, the cheating, the ghosting, I still don't regret donating my kidney to him. Now, I've said it before, but I have to say it again. Be leery of men who come into your lives in need of your resources almost right away. He's asking you if you live alone so that he can try to figure out how he could put his bags down at your place. If you need a roommate, if he could stay with you, he needs access to your car. He needs to borrow some money. He needs a kidney. He needs uh, citizenship. Like some of these men come into your lives and already need something that you have. Be leery of the men who want to take from you almost immediately. I remember like a couple of months ago, I did a video where this guy approached this woman in a nightclub. I'll just show the video. Well, because you told me earlier, you was like, well, you know, the girls in Atlanta, I'm trying to really find somebody that will help me get back on my feet as far as, like... It's honestly, it's really just so, like, it's really just so I can, I can leave my bag in her as far as like, take a shower for her. Like, that's really all I need. So you want me to find somebody that could let you have your stuff at her spot and take a shower? Basically, yeah. And then I'll get to know her privately. Did you hear him? This man approached this woman in a nightclub and said, do you have any single homegirls who have a place that I can stay, that I can put my bag down, and we'll see if a relationship pops off, we'll see where things go, but for now I just need some help, kind of want to get on my feet. Excuse me? They'll use you to supply all their other needs, and then they'll go up with somebody else and ask nothing from her. So the first stitch that I showed you guys where the woman said that the guy was cheating for seven months, why he didn't ask her for a kidney? No, 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 because he has a one woman that he asks things from and one woman that he gives things to. A genuine relationship shouldn't be solely contingent upon what you can do for that other person. If you say, you know what, you can no longer live with me. You can't borrow my car anymore. I can't lend you money anymore. I'm not going to help you get citizenship. I'm not going to give you one of my kidneys. I'm not going to let you lay your bags down at my place and let you take a shower at my place. I don't even know you and all like you should be able to tell this person. No, you should be able to deny this person access and nothing should change. If the only way for your relationship to continue is because you're doing what they want from you. It's not a real relationship. Now, some men will use your desperation for a relationship to get all they can from you the person that they actually do care about the woman they actually do want a relationship with they won't ask her for a thing the more comfortable a man is taking from you the less he likes you the less he cares about you if a man is comfortable bleeding you dry inconveniencing you taking your money not working got his feet up using your car got your car all day while you got two jobs trying to support him the more comfortable he is taking from you the less he cares about you because when a man cares about you he wants to give you the world he's not going to put you in a position where you're just only giving and he's only receiving